Hello, I am Denton Slovacek, Application Development Manager for the Power Industry at Hawk. Today we'd like to show how to do a grab sample on the NA5600 sodium analyzer. The sample can either be an unknown or it can be a standard for verification. Let's move on to the demonstration. The NA5600 allows you to do a grab sample for both an unknown sample or for a standard for verification. The measurement takes place in this overflow cell and then is measured by the sodium electrode. It's a very simple setup. First go to menu and we move down to grab sample verification. You will notice that it's currently in a measurement mode. We want to interrupt that mode so we can go directly to our grab sample. So we're going to choose yes and press enter. It is now exiting the operation. It's asking us if we're going to do a verification with a known standard or a grab sample. Today we're going to choose grab sample. Now we're ready to press enter to continue. And the, sens the sensor reactivation will take about 15 minutes. Do we want to then proceed? What is happening right now is that we're flushing the overflow cell with our current sample. It's going to go through a complete flush here, refill, and do another flush. And at that point in time, we will go directly to adding our grab sample. So you notice that the instrument is slowly emptying the overflow chamber of the sample as a flushing. You will notice that we have now emptied this overflow chamber. You will hear the pump go and it will return on and refill this flow chamber with water again. So now we're in the flush overflow vessel, sample in, and it's now starting to refill this overflow chamber with your water sample for a final flush. You will notice now that the overflow chamber has completely filled. So now we're finishing up this final rinse. This sample will now drain out of the overflow cell to prepare us to add our actual sample. You'll notice that we now have finished flushing the overcell sample, so now it's going to give us an opportunity to add the remaining sample we want to measure. We first remove the flow level, and we pour in our sample. Replace the flow, and press enter. We're now getting a live reading that shows us there's 5.7 minutes left to read the sample, but it is showing our current concentration and our raw millivolt reading and sample temperature. At the end of the five minutes, it then will give us our locked in reading of what our actual scrap sample measurement was. So we're coming down to the end of our measurement. The measurement has now been finished, and you see that we're measuring about 58.8 parts per billion sodium. It also has maintained what our sample temperature and our millivolt reading is. When I press enter to continue, it now allows me, asks me if I want to analyze another sample. In this case, no. If I wanted to, I would use yes, but no. And we just move back to the main screen. <clears throat> the question being now is, where is that measurement? This measurement has been stored in the data log. To find the results of that measurement, we go to menu, and we move to view data. And we want to look for log data. And of course, we want to view the grab sample log. And we want to look at the start time or number of readings. Let's look at the last three readings. And you'll see 
our, our late reading that we just had today on the February the 2nd, we press enter, and then it will show us the value of that reading. I can also go back and look at a previous grab sample reading if I want. So every grab sample reading is logged into data. Move back to the main screen, and the instrument will begin to finish its rinse and then start a new measurement.